in this painting, the artist is is showing a girl, and the girl is has a palette in her hands. We know by the look of her face, her hands, that she is wealthy. There's no wrinkles, but we also get the impression that she's young. She's a young girl. Um, as far as being wealthy, uh, the look of her dress. Her dress is is beautiful. Um, it's not old. It looks new. It looks like something uh, a wealthy girl would wear. And she probably has more of these at home that she wears one every day different um, she is it appears that she's painting however she's missing the other element to what she should be painting she needs an easel there is no easel so clearly I see that she was posing for the artist that was painting her she is a dilettante because she doesn't clearly understand that she needs the easel to paint. There we see a curtain. We see a coat hanging right here. Um, it's a dark room. We, I also see that she is sitting because there's her knee and her other leg is resting, perhaps just resting. Uh, we see that the chair that she's sitting on is sitting on a step made out of brick. We can see the brick, we can see the lines. So there is some linear formation right here because of the lines of the, of the step. And there is that line um, that represents that it's a, a, like a stepping stool. So it is a, uh, a step. There is a chair on the side with books. And the chair, as you can see, is very ornate. It, um, it is represented with um, some fringe, I can see some fringe on the chair, as well as um, the the scrolls of the chair. Uh, they appear to, you know, be colored, but at the same time, there is some some characteristics of it having some gold splashes to that chair. So, which represents that whoever did this or wherever she's at, she is in a place where she is. Well, she's in a place such as a theater, and and it's expensive where she's at, obviously. Um, this uh, painting, you can't see it, but I can. Um, there is impostor detail. Um, there's brush strokes. Um, there are little. There's some brush strokes that you can see. The folk point. Of this painting is a girl, obviously, like I said before, she is the one who it, your eye goes to immediately, followed by the palette. Um, we also see that there is definition in the, the curtain back there, and there is a coat right here, so there is uh, a line, a continuous line throughout the curtain, um, continuous line throughout this. Uh, step that she's on. As we see, there is chiaroscuro involved in this painting. It comes from the left, perhaps even from the bottom, but that chiaroscuro uh, makes for her to be the center point of attention for this painting. The dress is the focal point, obviously, of the chiaroscuro, and therefore creates uh, the darkness against her beautiful, neutral, yellow dress. We can see in this painting the folds, the continuous folds. You know, we can see the detailed folds. The color range of this painting accentuates her dress. Um, like I said earlier, creating the chiaroscuro effect so that the dress can be seen. It's a contrast. Um, there is depth in this painting. Uh, we know that she's sitting on a step, as I mentioned before. Uh, she is, she's back there in a room. The transition of colors um, between a little bit dark here, there's dark here, and obviously there's a lot of dark here, makes 
for this to be the center focal point of the painting, creating that chiaroscuro effect like we talked about before. Um, again, we do know from what I, we see here is that she is wealthy, she's young, there's no wrinkles in her face or in her hands, and um, she has no easel, so she is not painting, she's a dilettante, amateur painting, or not even an amateur painter. She's just um, there posing for the painter to draw her. Um, it's a beautiful piece. There is no space. The only space there is is, is that she's back there. That's and, and it's it's a it seems like it's a tight space because of the curtain and this coat that's hanging and she's in a tight space. Other than that, there is no volume in this piece. There is, however, a sense of of happiness. She is happy. Overall, this painting um, just um, we go we continuously go to the dress. It's the dress that we look at. It's her that we look at. Then we also know as a palette. So, in contrast, there is really no contrast except for the dark room. The atmosphere, the mood she's in, we know that she's in a dark place of theater. Uh, she seems to be just happy, um, peaceful, somber, and, and just enjoying life at the moment. She is, again, a dilettante maybe never drew anything because we can, like I said before, there's no easel. Um, there's, it's a beautiful painting and, and I hope you all like this and thank you.